Welcome everyone to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports as we get ready to start the season in style. Our game tonight featuring the Chicago Bulls as they go up against the Los Angeles Lakers. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and coach Mike Fratello. On our sideline, David Aldridge. tonight the culmination of all the hard work put in during the offseason and not just by the players you have front offices trying to retool to get better and coaches scheming to get the most out of the players they have and that's a daily job isn't it? all season long staying on top of them making sure that they have an understanding of what they are supposed to accomplish with each and every workout now here's Johnson Scotty Pippen unable to get his shot to go Here's Worthy. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. There's just no simple answer for Worthy inside. His height and agility help him beat the coverage. Here's Jordan. That one falls coming off of Paxson's feed. So many different tricks up his sleeve. Makes him a tough matchup. On the wing, Johnson. He's covered by Grant. He wants a screen on Grant. Bank shot, no good. Solid defense down low, defending the rim. We play just over a minute here in the first. Grant sets a screen for Jordan. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Scott. No good from Jordan. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Passes it to Scott. Back to Worthy. Back to Scott. Got it from 16 feet. Boy, quality find that time by Worthy. I'm sure he could have taken that shot himself, but he'd rather find a teammate with a better look. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Jordan looking it over. The jump hook, and the layup is up and in. All too easy for Jordan. Just unfazed by anything the defense throws at him. He's got an answer. Johnson outside. The pass to Divas. Worthy against Pippen. Fade away. Worthy, no good. Got some space in the mid-range, but wasn't able to convert. Still, not a bad chance for him. Maxson kicks to Pippen. Grant outside. Pass to Jordan. Over Scott. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist by Grant. And that's now six points for Michael. He is money from there. Jordan is so comfortable operating from mid-range. Outside, Scott. Here's Teagle. The rebound by Grant. He thought that one was going down as soon as it left his hands. Well, with good reason. That was a great look. Just bad luck it didn't go down. Pippen, the pass to Baxter. Outside, Jordan. It's Pippen on the wing. Shoots over Worthy, and the Bulls tack on two more. Boy, he was locked in on that shot. The defense right in his face, but Pippen still able to knock it down. Outside, Scott. Pass to Johnson. Some solid defense from Grant. And that's a strong defensive effort to force the miss, especially against someone of his caliber. Baseline try, and it's Chicago scoring again. Getting plenty of lift on that jumper. Michael Jordan, a premier shooter. 
coach. They're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something right. has to change. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And the Bulls will go for a different look here. Purdue, we've checked in for Cartwright. King comes in for Horace Grant. Hobson's checked in for Jordan. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for Paxson. Side green. Smith scanning the floor. Can they get it? Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Well, you can tell Smith is comfortable with this shot. He'll take the mid-range if he can get it. Down low. Here's Purdue. And slams up by Purdue. Fundamentally sound. Two yep, sweet dunk for him. Beyond the aesthetics, a big two points. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Green with a screen on arms. Collip connects on the foul on jumper. I think he's got to show more fight than that. Can't give up on the play once you get screened. You got to continue to fight through. And coach is definitely going to be frustrated with that effort, or lack of one, that is. Pippen outside. Shoots over Worthy. Here's Purdue. It's good. That is why Purdue is out there. Give the squad some energy. And so the first quarter is in the books. Bulls lead by six. Live from Chicago Stadium, you're watching 2K Sports. Eight. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And uh, guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? I've been really impressed with how well they've been playing on offense. This is exactly the kind of start coach wanted to see. Now they just need to continue adding to this lead. Smith. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And Mike, with television more present than ever in day-to-day -day life, the NBA continues to grow within that medium. Networks have started vying for NBA rights. Even the NBA draft is televised for the last few years. The sport is definitely growing along with TV.
The free throw drops for Smith. Much appreciation for the energy that Tony Smith brings to the floor. I mean, a guy who certainly has a positive attitude and can fire up the rest of his team because of it. Now, here's Jordan. Over Smith. Green with the rebound. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They trail by three. This their first chance to take a look at the Bulls. Perkins with the screen for Smith. Back to Johnson. Four on the shot clock. A fadeaway. It's hauled in by the Bulls. You know, on that shot, I'd like to see him go straight up with it. Smith against Jordan. To the inside. Jordan is double. Rebound by Smith. Lakers trail by three. He dishes it to Perkins. Johnson surveying the floor. Outside, Green. Back to Johnson. Johnson, double team. And the wide open shot from Green. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Green's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And here's Armstrong. Still yet to score. King outside. Pass to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. He kicks it to Armstrong. Five on the clock. Cuts it five. No good from Jordan. For Los Angeles, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Now the pass to Smith. Back to Green. Pass to Johnson. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Bulls have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. Jordan passes to Hobson. Purdue the screen. To the wing right side. They need this one. Nice shot by Jordan. Jordan's got 10. Once Jordan gets inside with the rock, it's practically all over. He's that consistent at close range. Pass to Green. Smith outside. Here's Perkins. It's hauled in by Purdue. The Bulls with the lead. Armstrong passes to Jordan. One forty-three left in the first half of the game. Here's Hobson, headed by Green. Ties a three. Offensive rebound. Being left-handed like King, it can throw defenders off. You just don't see a ton of that. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. Ever since this game started, they've been attacking inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage looks. Taking what the defense gives them, guys. I mean, the mid-range shot is available, and they're knocking it down from there. I love it. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. The sixth overall pick in the 1989 draft. Stacy King is a very talented big man. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Cartwright's checked in for Purdue. Grant comes in for Hobson. Scotty Pippen's checked in for Jordan. And it's Paxson in for Armstrong. A big group substitution here for the Lakers. Evans is checked in for Campbell. Worthy comes in for Sam Perkins. Teagley's checked in for Smith. And it's Scott in for Johnson. Lakers trail by four. Outside, Scott passes it to Worthy. Outside, Green. It's Scott on the wing. Green with a screen on Pippen. Spins. Here's Scott. Converts after the nice spin. Scott's got his second basket of the night. Scott really attacking inside, relying on his agility to get that shot up and down. 
Jackson against Scott. The pass to King. Overworthy. King, that's good. King's got four points now in the quarter. For his position, Grant has good vision with the ball. I mean, he can find open guys. Scott kicks to Devox. 32 seconds left now here in the second. Green with a screen on Pippen. Outside, Scott. Three-pointer, Worthy. It's all in by the Bulls. Got to control the clock here. It's simple. I mean, I'd wait and go for the last shot. Let's see if they have the patience to do this. Got to manage this situation correctly. Now Pippen. And it's good. Two points. And now a six-point Chicago lead. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. And that concludes the first half. The Bulls on top, up by six. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Michael Jordan really making a difference here. I don't think there's any question about it. The coach talked to them at halftime about what adjustments they need to make in order to slow him down and keep him from going off. Yeah, he really torched them in the first half. I'm sure a lot of their focus will be on slowing him down in the second. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Scott, the pass to Johnson. Eight feet away. Good on the shot. Johnson's got his first points in this one. Magic takes a lot of pride in his toughness now. Shows you why on that finish. Pass to Pippen. Jordan, right side. Rebounded by the Lakers. Johnson outside. Devon's a screen on Grant. Johnson, the pass to Devon. And it's good for two. With his level of skill plus his size, Vladi is great at the two man game. Pass to Bax. Grant outside. Passes it to Jordan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Byron Scott picks one up. Smart play that time by Jordan, using the pump, baiting the defender, and he bit. It's his first trip to the line. Michael Jordan. throw good Jordan and the athleticism of Jordan is out of this world simply just an incredible player who does whatever he wants on offense and so Jordan nails both of them Here's Johnson. 90 seconds now into the second half. There's the pass to Teagle. And Scott has it in the corner. Six to shoot. Count that bucket. Scott's got six. Chicago leading. Outside Jordan. to Paxson, pass to Grant. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Kicks to Jordan. Off 
on the high post. Connects the jumper drops. Jordan's got four points this quarter. He is certainly a dominant player. Michael Jordan, when he's in the zone, unstoppable. There's the feed to Scott. And finished off by Scott. Self-starting right there, taking initiative big time. And you expect that from the floor general that he is. He's a leader, and the team trusts his decision-making. Now, here's Paxson. Scoreless thus far. Here's Pippen. Takes it off the glass. And the Bulls lead by four. All the height and length of Pippen, a factor there. Helping him beat the shot contest. Fades. Again, the Lakers. Boy, since the break, they've really increased the energy level. I love how this team is playing. Make it the effort plays. Here's Jordan. Scores the bucket. He's 7 for 11 and continues to look good. Boy, what a ruthless, wicked dribble move that time by Jordan. Threw his defender off and got the space he needed to fire. Johnson, the pass to Divas. Worthy against Pippen. Pass to Paxson. 129 left to play in the third. Inside, here's Jordan. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Grant's got three assists tonight. Tremendous strength there from Jordan. Knows he's going to get hacked inside. Finishes through. And finished off by Scott. The chemistry's so obvious on these alley-oops. Fantastic sequence there. Plays like that, Clark, bring a team closer together. For sure. Yeah, I like when guys take initiative and go after chances like this. And now the first time out called here for the Bulls. Going with an almost entirely new group. Levingson's checked in for Cartwright. Williams comes in for Horace Grant. Hobson's checked in for Michael Jordan. And Armstrong subbed in for John Paxson. Williams passes to Levingston. Floats it up for Pippen. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Athletic play in the air by Pippen. Collecting a well-aimed pass and slamming it right down. Passes to Campbell. 43 seconds left to play here in the third. Call it. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Here's Hobson. He has yet to score. It's Williams high post. Working on green. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And 
it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Barry, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Smart play to save the easy shot. He'll make them earn it at the line. I like the strategy. Make them shoot for it. The Lakers have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Falls, so he hits both of them. 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Pippen feeling it out a bit. Shoots over Worthy. Good on the 13 footer. Pippen's got six in the quarter. This is a shot Pippen is very comfortable with. He's extremely effective in the mid range. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And don't go away. We'll be right back. start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. Chicago leading by six. Armstrong passes to Hobson. And they double up Jordan. And there's the pass to Hobson. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Down to five on the shot clock. Armstrong gets the bucket. Hard to blame the defense there. I mean, at times, Armstrong is going to make hard shots. Johnson against Armstrong. Johnson left side. Collip. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got his fifth assist in this one. This team wants Magic making the decisions. Simply special with the ball in his hands. Jordan passes to Hobson. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. To the left wing. Johnson against Armstrong. Shoots over Johnson. And the Bulls tack on two more. Really solid work from the mid-range there. I love seeing Armstrong rise up with the confidence he has in that stroke. Johnson, the pass to Perkins. Feeds it to Green. Stolen. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. And the Lakers call time here. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. So it's back to the drawing board for this defense. The dude is lighting them up.
So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Hartwright's checked in for King. Grant comes in for Livingston. Pippen's checked in for Hobson. And it's Paxson in for Armstrong. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to catch the message Mike Dunleavy gave his team. He told the players, you guys are too talented to be playing this lackadaisical. Push the ball up the floor, get out on the break, and get to the fast break. Guys, we'll see if they can get it done. Thank you, David. Scott finds Johnson. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Jordan against Scott. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. He has been clicking tonight. What a performance from Byron Scott. Outside Jordan. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Goes up on the high post. Here's Cartwright, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Boy, nice finish by Cartwright, staying with it. Really good stuff. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Chicago? How about the work they've done from the in-between area? They are making it rain, and the storm ain't over yet. And, you know, they've done a fantastic job scoring inside as a result, finding plenty of opportunities to cash in near the hoop. And something to consider in the upcoming draft classes like the possibility of a high school player making the jump right to the NBA. We've seen it before, almost rare. Not sure how many could make that jump or if it's the right move. A few might try. Let's keep our eyes open in the near future. Paxson passes to Carter. Can't connect from short range. Aggressive move. That's an easy two points most of the time. Count it. You know, one of the things I like about James Worthy's game is he doesn't take bad shots. He really focuses on getting high percentage shots. Paxson outside. Jordan passes the court. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Grant dishes to Pippen. Going inside. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Pippen's got the lead up to 11 now for the Bulls. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Now, here's Johnson. To the paint. Divots, the pass to Worthy. And no good that time. Good work defensively by Pippen. Chicago leading by 11. Maxson kicks to Pippen. We've got 113 left in the fourth. Pass to Grant. Here's Jordan. Fires from deep. No good from Grant. And Worthy has got it here for Los Angeles. Here's Johnson. Some solid defense from Grant. One more shot might be all it takes here. Exactly. That might be the final nail, so to speak. Pippen outside. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. How about the strength of Pippen? Allowed him to get that shot off while still taking the contact. Scotty Pippen. No good on that one. I think what you most appreciate about Pippen, at least I do, is his versatility. I mean, he scores it, he rebounds, he passes, and he defends at a really high level. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Purdue, he's checked in for Cartwright. Livingston comes in for Grant. Hodges checked in for Jordan. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for Paxson. And he sinks the second. 
He did enough to put this one away. Hard fought battle, though. 27 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Shoot from 12. Perkins with the bucket. And with how effective he's been offensively, you'd like to see him be more aggressive. He needs to keep shooting if they want to cut into this lead. Pippen against Green. Pippen outside. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Mike, would you say they just kept the better energy throughout the game tonight? They came in with extra confidence with the whole crowd behind them. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. Mark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Kevin Harlan signing off. We'll see you later.